don't know that too well, but I know this is either a new recreation center or health center. Okay, wow. Hey, this is a new dorm hall right here. El, Port right El Portal, so yeah. Is the new admin building. Do they make more freshman housing and all that? Yeah, I think they have a... The goal at least was enrolling 10,000 students by 2025. This is insane! Oh my gosh, just imagine Gabe if we were going to school now freshman year. Yeah, I know, as I say, many things to make you want your money back, right? <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine, like, you know, how much more options of girls and stuff there are here. It's crazy. Like 10,000 men, 10,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> So this is academic walk. So, like, what are the people doing on campus right now that are here? So I think what they, at least, what they're doing is they're still giving students the option to want to live on, that want to live on campus that can, you know, in many cases it's probably a, uh, it's a safer space for them to be than in some of their homes. Yeah. Granted, you they've moved most classes still to online. <laughs> Dang, well, it feels like a ghost town right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, up until this year, this, you couldn't get past where these little barricades are. Uh -huh. Construction was going on all on this part. I remember that, yeah, this whole area was was never available. Is up there the s &E Two? Yeah, so that's not SC2 you're looking at. Those are actual new buildings. Okay. And then to the left ahead of this building is the new dining hall, dining wow. center. See, that, to me, that's crazy. Someone like Gabe has seen all this kind of slowly going up, but if you left Merced for a couple years and came back, this looks like a whole new uh, place, institution. Yeah, exactly. It's more than double the size of campus, as I understand it. Wow. Two times. Um, oh yeah, but dude. Oh okay, there's outside vendors in the old DC, which is good, like the food trucks and all that. Or like Sam and JNRs and Little India. Definitely go capture that swan over there. So we'll go. We'll hit this portion on the way down, but we. I don't know. We can see if this. So this is academic walk. It's a great shot here. So, like, what are the people doing on campus right now that are here? So I think what they, at least, what they're doing is they're still giving students the option to want to live on, that want to live on campus that can, you know, in many cases it's probably a, it's a safer space for them to be than in some of their homes. Yeah. Granted you, they've moved most classes still to online. <laughs> Dang, well it feels like a ghost town right now. Oh yeah, absolutely. So up until this year, this, you couldn't get past where these little barricades are. Uh -huh. Construction was going on all on this part. I remember that, yeah, this whole area was was never available. Is up there the s &E 2? Yeah, so that's not SC2 you're looking at, those are actual new buildings. Okay. And then to the left ahead of this building is the new dining hall, dining wow. center. See, that, to me, that's crazy. Someone like Gabe has seen all this kind of slowly going up, but if you left Merced for a couple years and came back, this looks like a whole new uh, place, institution. Yeah, exactly. It's more than double the size of campus, as I understand it. Wow. Two times. Um, oh, yeah, but dude, this is going to be a crazy experience going into this new pavilion or dining facility there's some people in there wow. See, you remember little lake as well yeah oh and then we'll see it on the way back down but they have a whole new conference center here now too wow whole new conference center too wow is jorge working on campus a lot I need to hit him up. We've not really talked to. We've not really talked a lot in quarantine, ever other than texting every now and then. Oh, you know that face mask that you're wearing, Gabe? Do you know what those are called? Face shields. Well, they like they were like a Scandinavian thing for a while for like skiing to like keep the wind out of your face. It's called a boof. 
Yeah, booth. no, um, I use these. I use it for Spartan races. It's too windy. Oh, and then OSL has moved into those. Has OSL, okay, game. I have a lot of thoughts about OSL. Yeah, I know we do, and those will not be talked about right now. <laughs> OSL, oh my gosh. Gabe would have become a lawyer if uh, things with OSL got out of hand, I feel. Not a politician. <laughs> Alright. So going forward now, okay, I still see the vagina or the New Beginning statue way over there in the background. It's crazy to think we're in what was the bowl. This is the bowl? Yeah, the, like literally remember? Oh my gosh. The steps down to it and everything. They could have made the bowl bigger and made it like a, a venue, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't have my cat card. Is that an issue if I don't have We're my just cat card? Like old students that are stopping by wanting to see the new building. Okay, yeah, go on through. Thank you. I mean, I'm not saying I want my money back, but you guys definitely <laughs> improved a lot of the stuff here. <laughs> Hi, Alex. I know, Katrina. How's it going? Good, how are you? Wow, long time no see. It's been a while. I know, right? I'm like, like I got that voice sounded familiar. I yeah, I didn't recognize you for a second, but yeah, yeah. wow. How you doing though? Good. I'm all right. Yeah. Yes. So you're working here now instead of. Yeah, uh, we, we, I moved over here in July 2018. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Do you like it more? It's or? nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's been busy. It's been crazy. I bet. I yeah. bet. Did you go look at the pool yet? Yeah, we're doing like a little tour right little now, tour. just going around. Yeah. Because yeah. you can exit out that way too. Okay. If you want. And then because it'll uh, dump you out right outside where those stairs are, to go back up that way. Okay. To, um, in between yeah. these two buildings that are behind us. And then it'll take you right straight to, uh, I guess, any one or two. All right. I mean, is it okay if I give you a hug or is it like. Yeah, I'm okay with it. All right. <laughs> Katrina, you're, you're awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, How's yeah. everything going? It's good. Um, yeah. I started my own company and I'm like doing like uh, travel vlog right now at the moment. So right um, on. that's why I have this thing with yeah. me. Um, but yeah, everything's been going good. Just working hard and all that, you know. Good. Yeah. Good yeah. for you. But I, I guess uh, things have probably gotten busier though, right? Since you've. It's been yeah. It's been pretty busy over yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, it's changed like every fall. So like the first fall, it was all a cart like it was in the other building. And then the second fall was um, all you can eat. Oh, you're on the swipe system now? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the third fall will still be all you can eat, but it's a little, it'll be different with like limited seating and stuff like that. Is, uh, is, is Pedro or Julia still working? Julie still working? Julia, yes. They both still work here. Okay. Uh, Pedro's off today uh, and Julie's working um, Monday through Friday. Okay. But she's kind of um, moved to like HR liaison and kind of like student employment, um, hiring and stuff like that, so, yeah. 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 All right. Well, it, thank you so much, Katrina. Uh, yeah. We're kind of on like short time with this yeah, guy. no but... worries, no worries, take it easy. Yeah, we will see you guys around, thank you. All right. Bye. Um, no, I know, but we, we do have to go to um, either San Cruz or San Francisco later today. Oh shit, you have to get out of here, huh? Well, I don't know, it depends. Um, Wait, what? I don't know where I'm Hold on. No, I, I know, but the thing is, is that next. These are some other new buildings. Um, forgive me if I don't know the names of them, but there's a sustainability building. Yeah. Sustainability. Okay, this kind of looks like a prison yard a little bit. Like these, <laughs> this design, I, I don't like that. They should at least paint it it's or something. A, it's a whole like architectural style. I know, the, that's how the San Diego post office looks like in Point Loma, dude. It looks like a disgrace. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, Gabe, I didn't mean to be... Yeah, this works. <laughs> this is a great event space. <laughs> when things are actually trimmed. Gabe, I, I love this school, but I'm not afraid to say a thing or two about something I don't like, you know? I'm not trying to make the school look bad. I love it. There are some schools, though, like, for example, a lot of the CSUs lack very good architecture. There's only a couple of good CSUs. Like, you know, CSU Monterey, they use army barracks for their housing. I know. Like, that's bad. This is like on a former base, right? Yeah. But they didn't even try to, like, convert them that well or anything. It's just like, well, we just put up some internal walls and uh, drywall and, uh, you know, have fun at, at, at school. Yeah. So where are you guys staying in the bay? Well, we're going to try to see Oscar, Maria, and uh, 
Marcos, if you want to come with us, you're more than welcome. You gotta work tomorrow, dude. You can't even come up for a day? I've already asked for enough days off this month. Bro, you're working today? No, not today, but I mean like tomorrow. I know, but you can be back by tomorrow by when you have to work tomorrow. Gabe, when does this happen? Gabe, I just busted a six-hour mission last In night. In the middle of a pandemic. Yes, exactly. Just saying, like, you weren't the most responsible person, like, following the pandemic rules lately, huh? No, after the first, like, couple months of me being cooped up inside my house, and, like, even when I do go out, I'm only with my brother or one or two other people at a time. I'm never in big groups, except for yesterday. So I feel like... You know, I am at risk, but not as much at risk as people that are always out. Oh look, there's two bridges now. Two bridges, okay. Oh, did they get the um water generator to start working again? On the canal? Yeah. Well, the water is flowing. And what about the beer can too? What do you mean? You know the beer can, that big uh, aqueduct in the back? Oh. I wouldn't know. We had an ESS class where we got to like tour all the um, facilities where they like, you know, generate power, the fields and all that. And they use goats out where the solar panels are to like chew around the tall grass that blocks the <laughs> sun from getting to the solar panels. So that's like you know, using farming and, and technology together. Oh, and then if you look out here, far in the distance, if you see that road, uh -huh. eventually, I don't think it's fully complete yet, but it's gonna be like a loop around campus. So you can drive around the whole thing. You know, what's it called? Um, have you been to the Vernal Pools, Gabe? A long time ago. Yeah, like I have a feeling if they did expand onto the Vernal Pools, which I think they will. No, there would be lawsuit after lawsuit on that. Really? I thought they were talking about it, though. No, they're, especially as they've made it a preserve for research. And that's good. Like, that's the one thing with the environmentalists won. Big time. Hmm. Okay, I remember these buildings, though. Not too much changed here. Yeah, this is the part you're used to. But we should still make a trip back down there because there's a another part of it that we can and should see. All right. Has uh, Yosemite Lake changed at all? Like, has anything new been built there or anything? Mm -hmm. Except the back entrance has, like, turned into a, like, tweaker spot, but kind of always was. Well, yeah, that always was. I mean, that's where all the locals would go to fish and shoot up or whatever. The good old country boys. A lot of COVID signs around here. So if you guys don't already know about COVID, now it's time to get educated. Okay, so what's over here, Gabe? Well, you've seen this. This is the oh, yeah. building. I only had to go in this building like once or twice throughout my whole entire uh, college career, and that was just to go to office hours. Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat of only having been in these buildings a handful of times. This is the uh, building for all the kids that are uh, smarter than Gabe and I that know how to build things. Engineering and activity center. And then there's the solar panels out there, far in the distance. Nah, that's too far out. This is beautiful. Indeed. So. I forgot, these are solar panels too, right? Yeah. I think they still are on track to try to get like net zero 
emissions, waste. Handful of them. Hey, what's going on, Adrian? Dude, this, you don't, are, do you remember me at all, Adrian? Dude, it's been a minute, dude. I haven't seen you forever, man. I know, go ahead. seeing all of you guys around. Oh, dude, I'm just traveling. I just wanted to check out Merced real quick again, so um, maybe later, like if you're on Facebook, if you're off work, I can hit you up. Yeah. All right, man. I'll, all right. All right. All right. Take it easy, man. See you later, man. All right, dude. Yeah, that, that fool, um, Adrian, he's cool, too. We used to work together and like... Uh, I'm gonna stop recording. On campus too. Oh, yeah. Yep. You're Sean, right? What is this contraption? Oh, this is where you had your graduation. Yeah. That's the uh, vagina or the new beginning statue. You're supposed to walk in it at the beginning of school and then when you graduate. Yeah. My buddy's a blogger. Okay. See the new campus today. I'm an alumni here too, and it's been like two years since I came back here, and it's like, wow, this whole school is like doubled. Mm -hmm. I know. I've seen it Same. go up, but yeah. Yeah, I graduated 17, so. Yeah. There's still a part of me every time I come back here that like gets lost, or <laughs> they'll put, oh, there, here's this event. I'm like, I do not know where that is, so like, yeah. let me get there early to figure out where that is. <laughs> yeah, the last time we were here was last year's like fall alumni event they had it down oh, there yeah, I saw you. yeah. Uh -huh. so, i don't know it was just such a nice day we decided to come up and see everything yeah You're still living in merced yeah 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 the thing is, is that there's still time because they're like five or six years older than us. Bro, what? <laughs> Dude. That's the most faded for game. I'm just saying. That's the more faded for six years. Oh, that's Like, Peter's like, what, 30, 31? Right? I mean, and, and like, that's why I don't have any sympathy for Kim because, like, <sighs> <laughs> wow. Okay, that's like seven sneezes right there. That was a lot. Yeah, this is Scholar's Lane. All right, Gabe, any favorite, favorite memories about Scholar's Lane? How does it feel to not be flyered right now? That's what I was going to say my favorite memory was, was tabling here. Like every way... You, either you're tabling or you have to like become and be, become this whole different person and figure out a whole way to avoid being flyered like pretend you're talking on the phone or yeah it creates you to make antisocial antisocial behavior if just to if you're having a bad day yeah just so that you don't get a piece of paper handed to you and said hello would you like to check out our club which is sad but that's the world we live in now I mean, but I think some people love to be flyered right now. No, I'm not saying people love to be flyered. I'm just saying, like... I'm just saying it's social interaction that we... Well, yeah, and, and it's for the school's benefit. Like, the school benefits when the clubs, you know, have more activities and they get more students and the people, like, help each other out. It makes the school a better uh, environment, socially and academically. I mean, because there's so many, like, study groups and relationships and friendships that come out of, like, you know, college uh, social clubs and things like that. So I think it's essential for the young and the young people. And then we even have trash cans. These were here when I was here, but these trash cans have solar panels on them. What for? I don't know, but... That's fucking whack. Why would they do that? So well, I mean, they could be powering the bathroom or something. I don't know. Okay, so 
There's no way to get back to where we were on the other side. Is there, Gabe? Or yes, is there... there is. You'll see. I'll show you. Because we're going to walk. There's still some things to see on the other side of those buildings that I maybe should have included, but here we are. Dude, I can't wait till people go like, um, you know, they get their little floaties and they go and chill in this water. Dude, I don't think they can. No, I know, but I, I would hope that that happens at one point. Because it, this is not owned by the UC. The water, the canal is owned by Merced Irrigation District. I mean, it's probably not safe to like drink or anything, but if you just, I'm just chilled saying, in it. It could be a, it's a liability issue waiting to happen if people are. Yeah, but just imagine that though, chilling from Lake Yosemite and then floating down here, maybe like cracking a cold one. I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't be fun, I'm just saying you're gonna encounter a lot of issues if you try it. Yeah. Oh, Gabe, by the way, um, I'm gonna be going to Florida Ocala, like country town, um, with my sister and her uh, boyfriend, if you wanna come with me for like, a couple days. To like Florida? Yeah, we're, like her friend owns a bar and then like, Dang. You know, Dude, Florida's like, a hot spot of coronavirus right now. Like, we should not be trapped. Yeah, but they live in the redneck Ocala part, like in the sticks, like alligators. Like, if you want to go on a boat and see some gators and see some country girls, Gabe, and listen to country music, I think yeah, like, you should I come would with totally me. Do it. COVID was not a thing right now. <sighs> see this, this damn COVID. I'm telling you guys. I'm just saying, don't be a dumbass. <laughs> I'm going to tell my kids in 20 years that uh, these empty lots were the result of millions being killed by Corona. Empty lots where? Like, see how there's no one walking down this road? I'm going to be like, it was the apocalypse back in the days. Everyone was gone. No one was on the streets. <laughs> so we walked through here, but if you walk right down there, we're going to... Hopefully, see some tennis courts. All right. There's tennis courts and basketball. Or anything, or yeah, like... it was for the it was the alumni association had an event out here. You can. This is a cool wall right yeah. here. It's a great event space at night with everything with all the buildings lit up and all this concrete here. So. Okay. Well. Is all this stuff going to be planted? I guess. All the brown? Well, no, actually, they use this as part of the event space when I was here, at least. The trees are probably going to grow bigger, though. The plants are... So you have to, like, order everything. When you go to the Best Buy, it's like, you know... <laughs> I'm not shocked. Couple little duckies in that pond. And not double down on stupid things. Remember they closed it in 2014? Finally opened it in 2018. Oh yeah, it was open very briefly. So you're saying it's a cool place? Oh yeah, they, the owner, the same owners of 17th Street remodeled it, and they own both bars now. Wow. So those guys are going to be the bar tycoons then in the uh, city, or at the... least for now, yeah. But then you should. Do you go downtown yet? No. Is any bars open downtown? No. And even if they were, I wouldn't go right now. Just because no one's there, or just because Corona. Again, I need to set the example working for an electric All right. Well, that's good. At least one of us is doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, that's right. I'm with a basically a federal employee, right? Technically, yeah. Te technically, yeah. <laughs> the legislative branch. Oh, what? All right. Anyway, though. So El Portal, Gabe, can you get us into one of these rooms? No. <laughs> I say, use your legislative powers and no. say, I demand a tour of one of the rooms. There's a thing called ethics that some of us choose to live by. 
Apparently not me. And then, see we're back at the beginning of academic walk, but we can go walk down this building and then out onto what they're calling the boardwalk these days. The boardwalk? What's the boardwalk? You'll see. Okay. Can we go down in... No, we can't go Well, down. because we can walk back down that way and then get a good view of the conference center from there. Oh, do you ever still drive by our house in El Redondo, Gabe? I, I live like less than a mile from it. Oh my gosh. I live at the end of El Redondo Drive now. Oh my gosh. Dude, yeah, there's no way I could relive that whole year. It would just be mentally exhausting. Oh. Oh my gosh, those were the times that made and break us. Just for a minute. Oh my god. We gotta check out both of them real quick. Tuolumne and Stanislaus. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember what room number it was? I could probably recognize that I it was Two something because it was on the second floor. I think it was 214 or 216. This is when Joe actually, when Joe came to visit us the first time in Merced, this is where we were staying. We were a bunch of fuckheads. Actually, it was down here, it was this one. Mm, are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it's that room. Wait. I think it is. I remember that. Wait. Is this Stanislaus right here? Is this the Stanislaus? Let me. Yeah, I think that was it. Two, two, four. Okay, that could. Oh my gosh. But where's the sign though for our door? Or for our place? It might be over there. Oh, the sign? This says stands. Was it 224, Gabe? Was it really? Yeah. At least I, re I remember more by location than number. I do know that, yeah, it was at the the corner end. Dude. And then Everything. Astrid and Kim's place across the way. Right there, yeah. That's where Kim and Astrid were. And then we were right here. And then, uh... Tuolumne is like right up there. But. Yeah, well, let's walk there. Dude, remember when they, the housing people fucked up the door? Wink, wink. <laughs> no, I mean like, are you filming? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I think it's okay. I don't think I'll go to jail for it, but um, yeah, basically like, I got really drunk one night, freshman year. Oh no, that's not what I was referring to, but that's still oh. funny. Oh yeah, well I, I was, I think I was like 19 years old and I basically was like so drunk. Um, I like, there was this automatic door, electric door, that moved super slow and it was like kind of an expensive, big bulky thing and I kind of uh, ripped it out of place or like pushed it out of place and broke it. And then I like stubbed my pinky toe, I think I sprained it or something. And then I like ran around a field for like 10 minutes after that Just because I was so drunk good times But yeah, what were you saying though Gabe about the other When like we uh, we were just going in and out of our door so much that like the deadbolt on it like, Oh, got yeah stuck and it got stuck shut and Like at the oddest hour probably at like 11 or midnight yeah. The housing supervisor got called onto campus because, like, they could not believe what had happened. And the, re the real reason it happened is, like, that they did not send anyone in a timely manner to come fix it. We had told them about it and, like, put the work request in it multiple times. And we were the talk of the housing staff for a little bit when that happened oh yeah because they was just like we were in we were we were in so much shock of it too like they didn't like us type of thing just doesn't happen they did not like us okay so this is the yellow how do you say it 
Yalabakov. Wallace. Yeah, Yalabakov Wallace. I kn I didn't even know how to pronounce that, but I worked here for two and a half years. Um, that girl Katrina we saw earlier, she was my boss for a while, um, and then I ended up working at Me and Ed's later after that. So I, I basically made pizza four years. I went to school here. So if you want your pizza made, I got you. <laughs> but yeah, Gabe, um, this up here is the real, real memories where it all began. So on when Marcos graduated in May last year, on his graduation day, we came back here to Tuolumne. And actually, we were able to go in. Some RAs were walking out and we followed them in and they were actually cool with it. That's cool. Yeah, so this is, yeah. They had two different nicknames for these um, dorms right here. Uh, Mariposa's was uh, marijuana and uh, Tuolumne's was Tuolumne weed because they used to smell so much because all the kids were idiots. Not naming any names or calling out anyone. I'm just saying what the talk of the town was. Dining center hasn't changed much. They planted trees, they put more lights here. Put the more best. One of the best scenes was like when the leaves changed color here in the fall. It's oh yeah. So nice. The fall and spring are my two favorite seasons in uh, Merced. I don't care about the summer and the winter that much. Wait, what? Yeah, in, in the winter time it gets super cold and rainy. But yeah, so this is the Tuolumne, the original OG place. If you ever go to Merced, freshman year, this is where you gotta live. Did you have to? Okay. There's the amphitheater across the way. Means like installed it for him. How much did the subs cost, Joe? Like fucking 350, dude. I fucking it was like in the beginning of summer and I had no job. And then I was like, bro, like, I saw these on YouTube and I was like, I have to get these, dude. So I called like every single place. I'm like, yo, I need a job, like all this shit. And then I, I like my cousin came over and I was like, yo. Fuck yeah. Saved up and got Good to be back at Merced.